Mary Ann Hansen. I am an extension plant pathologist with Virginia Cooperative Extension and the Virginia Tech Plant Disease Clinic. And today we're gonna to discuss the disease called boxwood blight. The first step you can take to prevent getting this disease on your property is to inspect plants carefully before you purchase them. And make sure you familiarize yourself with the symptoms of boxwood blight. You can refer to the Virginia Boxwood Blight Task Force website, which has a lot of information about boxwood blight, including pictures of the symptoms. So that can help you to be aware of what you're looking for when you go to purchase new plants. And make sure you purchase your plants from a reputable source, for example, a, a nursery that's in the Boxwood Blight Cleanliness Program. And there are a list of the nurseries that are in this program on the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services website. It's not worth buying plants from a cheap source, so make sure you don't buy questionable plant material. We had a case in the clinic where a woman had gotten boxwood blight on her property and she was a boxwood enthusiast and the disease spread to her English boxwood and it was really sad. And it all came from one little container plant that she had purchased at a local retail center. And when the Virginia Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services went out there to inspect this retail center after we found out the disease was there, they found a whole group of plants back in the corner uh, that looked pretty bad with symptoms of the disease and there was a sign on them that said 40% off. Don't buy plants that are 40% off. It's not worth it. Think twice about buying boxwood greenery. Um, although if you love wreaths with boxwood in them like I do, it's fine to purchase them. Just make sure that when you discard them after the holidays, you bag them up and get them to the landfill and don't leave them lying around the landscape. You can also purchase resistant cultivars. And we have information about resistant cultivars on our website. Actually, there's a link to NC State's information on the research they did testing different cultivars for resistance to boxwood blight. And so purchasing resistant cultivars can help you prevent introducing the disease. Still, you wanna inspect those plants carefully because although they have resistance, they're not completely immune to the disease. 